Hello, wizarding fan people. I'm wearing my robes and my wand, and by robes I mean my bath robes, and I guess this is a wand, but it's plastic. Hello. Ain't the way uh, I that one. The, uh, we mm. just watched Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Powley. No, Crimes of Johnny Depp. Ah, that's right. It's called, uh... It's called uh, uh, the Wonka. It's called uh, it's it's oh. called uh, his his take on uh, I don't care. his take on uh, Mr. Yeah. Wonka, and it's also called uh, his take on uh, the Mad Hatter. Mm -hmm. Why Johnny Depp? There's a reason everyone was upset when you took this role. <laughs> but I'm Team Grindelwald. Yeah, but to I talk wanna, about I to support. Shh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk no. about the movie. He did do a good job. I mm -hmm. I did think so. So, let's give a quick synopsis of what the deal of the movie is. Grindelwald escapes. Find him. Yep. That's the synopsis of this movie. If you're like, who's this Grindelwald and why did he escape? Probably should watch the first one. Um, I'm, a horror, I'm a Harry Potter fan. I like it. I like it a lot. It's good. Um, so, what I thought about this movie is... It's but I liked it more than the first one. Oh, he did. I did, but it's also a movie that if you don't really know the lore, will be confusing. I, I mean, so take that into consideration. Is this is not like the movie you can go in without seeing anything else we saw and it having a friend who didn't see the first one. Yeah, and uh, that friend was kind of lost in the shuffle of. Uh, this uh, story that goes into a bigger scale yeah. than the first one. We didn't get, I didn't get to right. talk to him too much about it because he had to leave after yeah. the filming, but I was he, curious. He enjoyed it because yeah. it's easy to enjoy because it's it's very funny, it's very sympathetic, it has moments that you will, I mean, will glue you to the screen because it's uh, things are happening constantly, so it doesn't really, doesn't really slow down too much. And As you can tell by the trailer, there's a lot of visual stuff happening and people doing magic tricks and then there's the beasts and the animals and the, the fantastic beast part of it definitely got definitely felt like the fantastic beast part was kind of shoehorned into this but it's kind of like that's the title we went for so we kind of have to have those fantastic beasts i mean the main um, character he just wants to find his beasts well, well now not anymore where's my beast where's my beast point is um right. most character i think most if not all characters are good jacob's character again great like who was in yeah. last film uh, I, you know, Nia, Leah, Nia, the, 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 well, she's not in the shots. Maybe you should know the name of the character. How about you shut up? Uh, and her, you know, the one, the, the chick that's in order that Newt wants to, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, she was oh, good. Oh, Waterston. There you go. That's right. Uh, Queenie was good as well. Uh, some people may have debate the motivation of the character in the film by the end, but I, you know, even though I'm like, all right, that's a bit odd, and maybe a lot, of, a little bit out of character, I still like the idea of where it's going with it because I just feel like you'll prove interesting storytelling opportunities if done right. Um, Newt was actually interesting. I'm sorry, Newt fans from the last film. I thought he was a fucking boring blank canvas last movie. Uh, he's actually interesting in this one. I feel like there's some sort of connection with him. Um, cause last time I just felt like, why do I give a shit about this weirdo? I don't, but this time I did care. I mean, he has to appeal of a kind of old man. Yeah, but that to do wasn't enough. Like, he doesn't it, want to pick sides, so he doesn't want to pick the good side or the bad side. He wants to be in the middle. middle as probably would say, I like my creatures or whatever. Exactly. But that's what like, he's into. I like my creatures. I um, my creatures. I, I, I'm a different man. Grindelwald was was good. I enjoyed the the Johnny Deep performance. I did like it because he wasn't. Oh, I'm a gay pirate, but it was more like you know a proper like somber, intimidating, well spoken dictator. Truth. Um. Truth. So that was good because when you think about and it, Jake Rowling actually wanted him for the part. Look, man, if she wanted him, yeah. she got him. There you go. So, so call him up and she say, wrote it, by the way, you know, I wasn't sure if she'd written, I know she wrote the first one, I had no idea if she wrote the second one, yeah. she did, she wrote so both whatever ones. mistakes there are, it's all on her, if you didn't like it, it's all your, your little creator, ladies and gentlemen, so, mm. you know, Nagini is in this movie, if you couldn't tell from the trailers, you know, the, the snake that Voldemort pets is in this movie, and she's a woman, and before she became a snack, and it's odd, for sure, um, I just thought, 
the snake was a snake. Curious pet, to see you know? where it goes I from here. I think it was supposed to be like a human or something. Like that. Um, <laughs> curious to see where it'll go from here. Well, obviously she's gonna become a snake. I got that. <laughs> um, uh, surprisingly, that's enough. where her story goes. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's definitely a few scenes in this movie. Thinking back on it, I feel like end up somewhere. Something happens and then they end and it's never brought back again. Oh, and like the next one, and then the next one, and then the or next one. like random guy chasing random kid and then finds him and then that's it oh and then that character never shows up again that's right that's my point like or maybe he did but you fucking forget about him uh by then so the movie will have not inconsistencies but oddities within its own storytelling and you should be prepared for that i suppose because you will have a second of going wait a minute what with sure. a lot of things. Um, sure, it's dealing with a lot of stuff. Yeah. It Canonically, is. to the Harry Potter, like, lore, obviously, being someone that give a shit and, like, did some quick reading also on the character before this, I was in curious to see how, like, right, they'll do it and things like that. You know, Jude Law, right, as yeah. Dumbledore was fine. I mean, he didn't do too much in this film, but then again, it's a setup to the next film for him to do much. This is definitely, like, the in-between movie. Like, we have Fantastic Beasts with the Fantastic Beasts... We have this movie that's kind of a setup for what the next movie should be, and that should be the fifth one, the third movie, which will be the halfway point throughout the five quintilogy. Quintilogy mm -hmm. that's gonna be the Fantastic Beast series. Yeah. So it's gonna be the halfway point, so it should be good with a lot of highs and lows, hopefully. Yeah. Then the fourth movie will most likely be like a wrapping it up and then the finale. Like uh so this movie definitely feels like it was the stepping stone to everything else. Mm -hmm. More than the first movie. Uh, and regardless of that, I, I liked it very much. Did you like it? I enjoyed it, yeah. I mean, I, what I like about these characters are they're very funny. I mean, I, they're, they're very unique and everyone's different. And the movie does a good job of balancing the dark stuff and all the light stuff in a, in a good body. Oh, yeah, they did dark stuff. And I appreciate they did some dark stuff, but I appreciate that. It also kept a very light tone, very family tone in a way I, I think most people will have a good time I mean, the audience we saw it were, were, they were cheering they were awing and, and laughing <gasps> yeah and then whenever a very serious scene happens everyone's quiet very focused you know and that's what and that's a good sign of uh, uh, an audience uh, pleaser which it, it is what it is right unless I'm the one asshole coughing in the theater because I'm sick and I'm like oh, are you, oh he wasn't coughing someone else was I was coughing are you I, I was the, I was oh. next to you <laughs> No, I, I heard someone coughing behind me. Oh. Like, <coughs> you know? Well, I don't remember that, but I just remember myself going, <coughs> and then being like, I hope I'm not just ruining the movie for everyone. Yeah. So the difference is, this guy knows everything Harry Potter. Nah, let's not put a, that okay. many feathers in my cap. I am a, uh, I don't know what I am, but I like it. <laughs> he likes it a lot. He, he wishes he gets the letter to Hogwarts. And yes! Like, wow. Where's my letter, you fuck? Expelliarmus, or whatever you say, right? Fucking muggles. <laughs> Hey, muggles are good. I don't hate him. I do not. Shh. Don't quote remember. him to me. Remember? Um, and, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. I wanted to say that. I really he like that. like Shaker. Yes. A, a, a normal guy gets to be part of the adventure. Finally. I mean, give him a chance. You know, they, they, Look at him go. He's going at it. Look at him go. And I think he's very much needed because you, ha you have Newt, who's kind of like a weird, <sighs> socially awkward kind of character. That you, have, uh, you, know, you have some theories on him. but Probably. I mean, he's, you know, he does this, looks around, you know, kind of like, you know, when he does his thing, he wouldn't explain too much to the audience uh, what he's doing. So, and I think he's kind of like on a, on a level that is difficult to relate with sometimes. So when you have Jacob around him, you can understand him better because you have uh, us, the audience character, reacting to him. And he and Newton can also explain what he's doing and you know, what he's doing is magic stuff that, I mean, we normal humans, we don't even know anything about magic, do we? You can do anything, really. You can just... Put your wand around and then, oh, all of a sudden, you, so you, yeah, and now you're green or something. Your skin is green. And, and then, uh, I mean, if, you don't, if you're not a wizard, you wouldn't know how to do that. But if you have a human right. character with the wizard, the wizard can explain what he's doing to the human character. And we can learn from the wizard to the human. Because Newt is on his own. He only cares about his beasts until Jacob shows up. And then, now I have a friend. I have a friend now. I can, you know, do this and that. Don't take the bucket, you know. And then they, they do the thing. So, yeah. A good, a good combo. I like them. He likes them. So that's that. What that's it. What makes it work? Because you have people that carry the story forward. People that you can care about. That's good. It's fun. It's a fun movie. I enjoyed it. I didn't. 
I guess I didn't understand all the little small Easter eggs and details that oh, yeah. Harry Potter fans can get, apparently sort of fan service in this movie. Yeah, which yeah. is odd, but right? Because it's like if it was made or written by some fucker out there, you'd be like, oh, they're just shoving that in because they can. But then you're like, oh no, old J.K. Rowling wrote this, okay. She so wants to connect it, I guess. Alright, so I guess it's going to be connected. Is she it's, like, uh, it's like poetry, it's in the rhymes. Uh, all right, Polly, give the movie a rating out of 10, go. Oh, I mean, I... Because we do ratings, even though I don't like it, as uh, I stated, but give it a rating. Actually, the same as the first one. I would give it like a 7 out of 10, actually. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I, I had a good time. Yes, yeah. I'll give it the same. The same, really? The, 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 I don't Wait, like did ratings. I give it more? I thought he was going to give it more. I don't like ratings, but I <laughs> guess I'll give it a 7. I it's solid. It's solid. But if you just ask me, don't watch it, watch it, or... Wait... Don't watch it, watch it, or don't care, I'd say watch it. If you're like Harry Potter, watch it. If yeah. if we're going to put it in a simple layman's term of yes, no, maybe, yeah, watch it if you're like Harry Potter. I suppose maybe if you're interested in it, and no, if you don't like it. <laughs> I mean, but the simple. good thing about these prequels is that they work pretty well on their own, right, so far. Yeah, you don't need to know anything about Harry Potter, you just need to have Fantastic Beasts. So There's far, they one don't... Movie out they, so watching them first wouldn't ruin Harry Potter's viewing experience. No. Yet. As if no. watching Star Wars oh, first yeah, and then that that would ruin, twist. Yeah, ruining like key plot moments that are... Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. There's nothing like that here, no. Yeah. I, I'd be surprised. Yeah. I'm but yawning a lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd be surprised. Is he tired? I am tired of your shit. <laughs> Uh, I'd uh, oh, I'd be surprised if uh, if they end up doing shit like that, but that'd be dumb. I don't know why they would do that. I don't know why. It'd be like self sabotaging your own universe a little. So I see there's no That's reason for them to do that, yeah. uh, and hopefully they won't. Uh, I hope not. Mm -hmm. But uh, I will say like some of the biggest complaint I had is that like you know nowadays in media there's a lot of like pushing PC-ness and like being socially correct and stuff and you know that's fine you know but there's also like the aspect of like uh, showing that other ways of being is okay and it's good and you should like it uh, and sometimes in media I feel like that's a bit too pushy. Uh, oh, you think this movie did that? Or? And I think this movie did the total opposite and oh. annoyed me with it in fact oh. which by not portraying Dumbledore's and Grindelwald's gay relationship and it upset me because the only thing close to it is a uh, nice saucy throwaway light of like, oh, Dumbledore, you and Grindelwald are as close as brothers. We were closer than brothers. Besties? I don't fucking know. Like, it, that means nothing to me. Then they do a fucking blood pack. I can fucking cut myself right now and do a blood pack with you. Doesn't mean we're fucking behind curtains. Like, why, why did you like, think they didn't? I don't know. Like, I don't know why they backed out of it so hard because. In the beginning, J.K. Rowling was so much like, oh yeah, it's totally gonna be like a thing about it in the movie. And then like months before it comes out, like it was just basically like talks like, yeah, we're not really gonna delve into it. And everyone was like, but why? But why? It feels like now you're stepping back on your own word. And it was stupid because, because it's not like because something it's something that that's part of the story exactly. yeah. and makes sense and is integrated with it. So it's, it feels like you're del uh, deliberately taking it out. And and for for a sake of you're like afraid of people's reactions, like I don't know, like I don't understand. For someone that like said that like in my head when writing the character, I always knew Dumbledore was gay, and now when you're making your movie, and then you can portray that now in an environment when this stuff is a lot more acceptable than maybe back when you know 17 years ago. By the way, when uh, if this gets released today, 17 years ago today, the first Harry Potter movie came out. Uh, than to show something like that back then. Yeah. Today, that's a lot more uh, acceptable. And, and you know, people would have cheered you on for it, in fact. I mean, I would have been happy to see that aspect of this character. And I felt like it was it was a betrayal of it not to show it. Hmm. And, and maybe you're waiting for something like that until they meet face-to-face. -face, and I think that's fine. But, again, without spoiling anything, having dumb, old Dumbly just reminisce a little bit and just seeing, like, just quick glimpses of them young, there was no reason for them not to have had a quick smooch or something. And that's all you would have needed. You didn't have to have them spell it out. You didn't, have to say, you didn't even have to have them say, like, we were lovers. Although, like, you know, asking a friend that went with us, he's like, I, I was hoping, like, he's like, I was exactly sure they were going to say that line after he pulled the, we were more than brothers, we were lovers or whatever. Like, he was sure they were going to pull that line, and so was I. Nope. I was, Remember, was this was, was before World War Two, so he, he maybe he's not... 
to but they're, open they're a box. They're wizards. <laughs> I don't know about the wizard room. I don't know. I don't know, in that time. I I don't know. know man. I guess I'm I don't know either, I suppose. I, I guess. If that's the reasoning, I guess. But then why would he go... But, as, I was but why, would he, why would he imply that then if there's a bad thing? Why would he imply we were closer than brothers well, then? That's on him. <laughs> that's my point. Why would he imply that then? So it's, 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 it's dumb. They should have shown it. Yeah, because his reasoning for not wanting to go fight Grindelwald is I, that yeah. he that's it's a person but that he that he very much cared for. That that's what you would assume, yeah. and then the movie gives it more to an explanation than just that. But but then it feels like that. But it feels like oh, whatever. Which it feels like this would make their fight more difficult and more interesting. What is he gonna do? How can he hurt someone fight? he loves? Yes, exactly. That's the no. point. But no, closer than brothers. Yeah. Stupid. Um, what about Ranakin? I love you. It's like, because you can get it, right? If you're saying you're closer to someone than your brothers, than family, the only other step above that would be lovers. But you're not, it's not about them not spelling it out. It's about them, like, clearly, like, shying away from it. That's what it is to me. Mm-hmm. It's, I don't know. It just feels like this is one of the rare times where I'm like, you're not, where, where it was underdone. Yeah. Where sometimes I think it's a bit too overdone. This was underdone. And we are looking for a movie so franchise. Let's that hope was, they don't drag it out. Well done. Well, it's over now, so... And this is a new <laughs> Let's one. Let's hope it's pretty good. And they don't oh. dump too much exposition on you in one scene. They've done that a few times in this movie. Um, one negative would be that, right? Yeah, I suppose. They could spare it out more. Like, yeah. You know, you can yeah. have a bit of the information. Yeah, the, there's a mystery more. that the movie portrays that is big, but then it doesn't give you breadcrumbs or clues to really follow. Which is, in a mystery movie, usually that's what you do. So by the end of it, you go, oh, sh- oh yeah, right. Everything, like, you can kind of see it in your own head, how it all fit together. But in this movie, it's more like, here's the reasoning, and here's a bunch of explanation and answers you clearly could not have had, unless I just gave it to you right now, in this one go. Mm-hmm. Be it, you, there was no way you could have put that together, watching the movie, unless you're a crazy somehow fan, and you came out with your crazy theory. But, like, you know... Uh, so definitely watch the first one. Yeah, yeah. You don't. You don't need need oh, it. Yeah. No, but because they're talking about credence, credence that, credence that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. What's yeah, about? Yeah, what's, yeah. what's this about sure, credence? Sure, 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 you know, sure, what's this kid? Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. And then when you watch this movie, it's like, okay, credence. I get why you're someone. Yeah. Uh, and you know, the movie ends on a yeah. big twist reveal, whatever. And we'll see if that reveal is like true or if it's just not. I you know we won't say anything more. Obviously, don't spoil the movie here. It's a spoiler-free zone. It makes a part of the two movies so far make more sense. Yes, I suppose. You understand why it's... Oh, I get why that's important. Yeah. But it could be very much... I mean, we'll see how they explain it in the next one. But it's kind of like uh, on the line of... Is it too much connection? Is it too, you know... Mm. Is it too much with that? Uh, Let's hope it's not. Right. Yeah. And uh, not too much... Action, but I'd say it has Not more too, too much. Uh, spectacle-ish, yes. uh, exciting moments. Yeah, and, regardless right. of the non-action, it's still entertaining. Yeah. Because it's entertaining to be in the magical world, right? Because even if no one's doing something, you just go, well, wish. Uh, but I, I like this fun because happens. They, they're exploring new places. Yeah. They're, they're, they're in Paris. That's the thing that's the, different with this movie. Is, you know, the first one, they're in, and they're in New York. And this mm-hmm. one, they're in Paris. You know, let's see where they go next time. Maybe they, sure, maybe they come back to Britain, but... It'll still be in Britain. We've only been at Hogwarts, really, so it'd still yep. be nice to see Britain being That's what I like affected. about Fantastic Beasts. Because it takes place places. in the oldie school over there. It takes place everywhere else, and that's entertaining to Yeah, see. and as soon as you enter this place, everyone's like, wow, my God, Of course, course. you know, as you can see, there's a scenes in there about yeah, it. Yeah, they show everyone. it in the trailer, so... Yeah, yeah I mean, you can tell. Sorry, if you weren't watching trailers, we ruined it. But why are you watching your review? In that case, I mean, the ink is not watching, watching this anymore movie? because it's over 20 oh, minutes already, I'm funny. sure. That's bad. Or it's 15 hours. But him, I just wish we could edit <laughs> so we could put his photo up. I can't edit um, right And Humpus's. Yeah. Uh, but that's our review of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them to. The Crimes of Grindelwald. <laughs> Grim- uh, Grimblo. Grimblo. The, the Grimblo. Crimes of the Gremlin. Johnny Depp. Don't feed him at night. Bird. Angry. Don't feed him you know, at night. Honoris Thompson, you know, he wouldn't have known oh, this Are you cat- doing his, uh, his way? I forgot his character's name, but. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I, w- I went to uh, Monte Cristo and uh, I found a story. Interesting story. No, it's but I, I, I actually, I liked that he uh, he was portrayed as uh, someone dangerous. 
Yeah, uh, the Grindel War. Grindel. Yes, Grindel Man. he's supposed to be like number one dark wizard, and then a few years later, old Voldy pops out of the womb and he takes the place. But uh, before that, Mister Grindel, old and the scariest dark wizard. And the good thing about Johnny Depp playing him is he can add some flavors that are unique also. He can but not the gay twist. pirate stuff. No, I mean, he, he knows it's a serious character. He knows. Well, good. I mean, he knows. Is what I say. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking design-wise, he like the, the eye thing and then... And then a little odd, like, I must say, but... It, it is a lot, but it, it, that's just how he makes his character stand, stand out. You know, he wants them all to be different. And I guess it helps him find the walk and the stance and the stare and, you know, the... Mm. The way he talks, because he has, he puts a lot of emphasis on the F when he speaks. Oh, does he? Truth, you know. Oh. I want to speak about the truth. You know, and that's, yeah, that's but, his character quirk in this one. But it wasn't bad. I liked it. Yep. Yeah. So Team Grindel War. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. go. You go, pal. Yeah. Kill them mm, wizards, boys. I do not hate uh, the muggles. I do not. Cool. He but, had a point about one thing there, but you know. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's the point. Probably he's a charismatic leader. So that's he's well. like I don't know who's a charismatic leader. Mussolini? I don't know. <laughs> All right, um, uh, spell them away. Um, uh, uh, disappearo video. Ah!